Hello everyone, this is Liz Reitzig and I'm signing in from Maryland to talk to you all today about food freedom and food and politics and what we as Americans can do to um, create more food freedom in our country. And I just want to check in real quick and make sure folks can hear me and uh, make sure I'm coming through okay. So can everyone hear? Where's the chat saying? No, I can Oh, I turned my audio off. Go to your other screen where you can. No, I'm having problems. So. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, great. Um, sorry, I wasn't sure if you guys could hear me or not. Um, all right, so I'm re really not sure where everybody is in the audience in terms of food freedom or what people are aware of about what's going on across the country with food and our food rights. Um, so if anybody has any questions throughout the whole thing, then just uh, let me know what your questions are right away and I can try to address them right here. Uh, one of the main things I want to talk about today is the issues surrounding raw milk and what we can do to access that more freely in our country. Uh, yeah, I see a comment about arresting the Amish right here and that's, that's one of the things to address is um, what's going on with that and that, that actually happened to a dear friend of mine and my farmer who I get a lot of food from and what happened was the FDA targeted him for basically transporting raw milk across state lines and we all know how dangerous that can be, right? Um, so they, what they did is that first they came to his farm armed 